Morning, my name's Paul Bailey and I'm from Book of Bees. This morning I'm making a video about adding a section of box to a hive that's being abducted or budded um, um, at the moment. This is a species of stingless bees called Tetragonula hockingsii, the commonest local species in the Bundaberg region. We also occasionally get Tetragonula carbonaria, but by far the most commonly found species in this area is um, Tetragonula hockingsii. Now the hive I'll be looking at this morning is a hive which was originally lifted from a rotten hive that I acquired in about April last year um, and it clearly failed to requeen and slowly slowly dwindled out to the point where it only had literally a handful of bees. So I connected it to one of my strong hives and within days the bees from the strong hive, the mother hive as we call it, had transferred into the new uh, daughter hive and started building brood. Within literally four days I saw brood cells, which is great. The problem now is that it's only one section of box. Um, keep it small, keep it tight. The brood's building up right up to the viewing window, so I'm gonna add a new section of box there. I don't want to disconnect this hive at the moment. Uh, we'll add a new viewing window, a new section of box, so they can grow a little bit more before I finally disconnect them. If you're interested in learning more about inductions or budding, I strongly recommend this book here. It's called The Australian Native Bee Book. It's by Tim Hurd, and it's a fantastic little book. Section on budding is page 140, 141. Um, just here. Another great book I'd recommend is Australian Stingless Bees by John Clump and he section on budding or adduction on page 66 you can see there's a whole section to read there. So two great books if you're interested in learning more about Australian Stingless Bees. This is a hive that's recently been budded or adducted. You can see it's a nice strong hive. So this is the top section of hive that I'm going to be working with. Um, adding a viewing panel to you can see here this is the brood excluder on top sits the honey super um, in normal processes and there's a gap at the back here which has been propolized by the bees um, <clears throat> now because I'm going to add a viewing window here I'm going to take off the brood excluder which was attached but has been Deattached. You can see there's some propolis here. This is the vent hole at the back. They've propolized the vent hole, made it safe, and there's a little bit of structure. Uh, we'll leave all of that there. Um, that's from the hive previously before it failed. So here we go. I've added a viewing panel here. You can see it's just an overhead projector transparency. Um, I get these from Office Works. Here's the, the packet they come in. Okay, so um, before I start, I'll just show you, this is my little um, nifty veil that I use for stingless beekeeping. It may seem a little bit strange as uh, obviously these bees are stingless, but while they may be stingless, they do have a little bite, which will only really come across when they um, have to become defensive. And one of the times is when you open the hive and they've got a new queen and some new brood, they're pretty much going to get a defensive. So. What they do is they bite, they go for your eyelids, your ears, your nostrils, anywhere that's delicate and they, they can um, give you a nasty little um, bite. So <clears throat> in order to protect myself a little bit, I put a veil on when I'm opening the hive. You don't have to do this, it just helps with comfort. Okay, so let's have a look. So we're now going to just gently start, very gently peeling off the viewing panel that we've got on the hive box there. So just taped on uh, should easily uh, be removable. Just very gentle, there's no rush here. Remember with all beekeeping activities, being gentle with the bees is, is the way to go. <clears throat> Not everyone um, tapes the viewing panel on. Um, some people have got hinged lids with their viewing panels and um, I like to tape them on. It just gives me extra security. Um, pests aren't going to lay their eggs and get into this. Um, certainly this was a, a vulnerable, a very weak hive, failed hive, when I first uh, connected it up. About 
two weeks ago and as I said earlier four um, days um, we'd seen activity of brood here and the structure that they lay or lay down inside of the hive um, had, um, was a good starting point for so we're gently going to peel away the viewing window and you can see the bees actually not too bad at the moment I thought they'd all come flying out at me this propolis you see on the top of the viewing window just peeling off there is um, easy to collect and um, propolis is a, a, um, a very valuable resource there you can see how much if I just put that on my knee how much propolis is left um, it's a very van valuable resource you can see the brood there um, inside the the nest this is pollen they nearly always drop pollen off at the front you can see this is the front of the hive and then towards the rear the um, honey pots and again that's very common so um, I want to make some extra space for these bees now so very very gently going to just pop on this viewing window being careful not to damage any any bees in the process um, we're aiming to make sure we squish no bees if, if at all possible and just connect that box like so so now um, I, don't know if you, I don't think you can see because of the reflection that gives us more room within the hive there is a fair few bees flying around they'll all go back in there now um, um, and I'm gonna pop tape all the way around this gap um, just to stop bugs and pests laying their eggs cifrid flies particularly surfid flies laying their eggs on the surface here of the of the box in the crack little pests get inside and the maggots slime out the hive so this is now um, giving the bees a lot more room it'll be interesting to see how they how they react to this we can put the lid back on uh, very carefully and um, and we'll just put this there's a lot of bees here so these bees can all make their way back into um, into the hive and just make sure there's no sign of the queen on the um, on the viewing panel it's unlikely the queen's normally down in the brood laying eggs I don't see any sign of the queen there so these bees all busy making structure um, they'll go back into the hive within the next um, few minutes really um, um, and that's it I'll do an update later okay so it's about 20 minutes later we've added that top section of box just come out and see how the bees are doing um, actually before we look inside just a, another word about that connecting tube in there um, what a lot of people do is add a T section of irrigation pipe, pipe so that once the the queen has established and the brood is doing well and it's time to separate the two hives they open up a T section in the middle here to allow bees access into the mother hive or bees into the new daughter hive gives them a kind of semi split before the two hives are separated um, what I do uh, just for simplicity really is I have a hole in the pipe uh, drill about an eight or nine millimeter hole in that pipe there and when it's time to um, partially disconnect I just take this tape off and the bees can come and go into the mother hive or they can go into the daughter hive. Now you'll see the um, original cover there, um, the viewing panel that had lots of bees on it. The bees have all gone now, they've gone inside the entrance and the other thing you'll notice I'll put some of the propolis there on the entrance. The bees are um, happily um, chewing that away, they arrive in there with pollen nectar as well so let's have a look inside let's take off that lid now and see whether we can um, we can see into the whether the reflection there 
I might shine a torch. I use my um, the torch on my my phone just to put some light in there as well. You can see they're inside the hive. And there you go. There's the view inside the hive now. Um, quite literally a hive of activity. And actually, I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but there is a very audible hum and buzzing while these bees are busy doing their thing there.